buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, so we are now a day away from the new Zero Gravity Dark Matter coming out. But who do we actually think it's going to be? If you guys uh, enjoyed this video or are excited, like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. So, uh, what I decided to do to actually narrow down the who could this be, we're going to check it out on, I guess, 2K DB and check it out. So, what I did right here was we, uh, I'll just go through, I guess, the steps here, is my best assumption, as you can see, we have uh, obviously a bunch of these cards over here. We go all the way up to Vlade Divac. Um, Julius Randle is going to be here. And then uh, we have the new um, card that literally just dropped. Oh, I'm forgetting the name. Steve Francis, um, who will be there. And we're going to be getting a Dark Matter. Now, my best assumption is that we're going to get a very old card that is going to need updating. So I have a uh, Galaxy Opal date added here, and we're going to look through some of the older um, date added cards because of my expectation is that it's going to be, you know, a diamond, a pink diamond um, that's in, been in the game for quite a long time. That definitely needs a bit of a, uh, a juice up. For example, there's guys like, you know, AI. I don't think that's going to happen the amount of backlash. You know, LeBron, Steph, LeBron, Steph, not happening. Luka's not happening. Zion, obviously not happening. We both got Dark Matter version to him. DeMar DeRozan is definitely one that I could see it happening to. Yao Ming, we have an upgrade. Shea, I don't really know about that one. Reggie Lewis, probably not. It's just way too good. Pascal Siakam, definitely one that is uh, possible. Somebody like Danny Granger, I mean, maybe. Uh, we got guys like Maurice Lucas, Terry Cummings, those aren't happening. Baron Davis would be a underwhelming, but definitely a possible one. Other big names like Durant and Clay, probably not. I mean, a lot of people saying that uh, Paul Pierce could be one that we could see. And honestly, Paul Pierce, I mean, it, it could be a lot worse. I mean, we're talking about a six foot seven guy who has a six foot ten wingspan. I mean, he's 235 pounds. Um, his Paul Pierce jumper is really not that horrible. It has honestly been a lot worse in previous two Ks. Uh, quick dribble style. And I mean, based off of what this Paul Pierce is already good at, the dark matter is going to be pretty disgusting. I mean, this Paul Pierce is already a great all around defender. His post game was good. His shooting was nice. Uh, finishing was great. Just didn't really have fast animation. So, I know some people are a little bit disappointed on if it would be a Paul Pierce, but honestly, I think he's better than a lot of people are giving him credit for. Um, so, a Paul Pierce card could be really nice. I think um, my favorite ones are probably like a Danny Granger or Pascal Siakam. Now, I know that these are definitely outdated cards that need some updating um, that we may actually never see. Um, an update for outside of packs. I think Granger is probably a little bit less likely because people are so excited about um, Danny Granger cards usually. Uh, so Pascal Siakam is definitely one that I could see happening that could be fun. Um, obviously, no way that we get KD or Clay. Probably not a Donovan Mitchell unless 2K just really doesn't like themselves and wants some hate. Honestly, um, Iggy is also another one that I think is pretty possible, but with a collector level reward, um, they usually don't give us another free version of him. Uh, don't see Anthony Davis, John Morant, or Giannis. We've already got a free uh, John Morant. Jason Tatum, we just got an upgrade for. Dennis Rodman, <laughs> honestly, could not imagine the backlash that they gave us a Dark Matter Dennis Rodman uh, because they haven't really been a fan of changing these cards, you know, jumpers or anything like that. Um, so I really don't see that happening too much. Um, no way they need to do it with E. Already got an upgraded version of Derrick Rose and Harden. Anthony Edwards would be a pretty fun one. Um, we have the last one we got were these limited edition ones. And obviously with jump shot 80, get that on the very quick timing. Get some nice quick dribble style with some nice combos and stuff like that. I think that uh, Anthony Edwards could definitely be a pretty fun option. Honestly, maybe one of my higher one up there is because at 6-5, the shooting guard actually could be pretty nice um, all around card to have out there. Um, Carl Anthony Towns and Grant Hill, definitely options, but I think like, they're a little bit too hyped. Same thing with Jalen Rose and Lonzo Ball. I think these guys are just a little bit too hyped. Uh, Paul George, we already got an upgraded version of him. Maybe an Allen Houston. They've liked giving us Allen Houston cards this year. Um, and with the Randland base, which they love giving up to on guards, uh, we could definitely see him being a little bit of an option. Hopefully, we don't see a Gilbert Arenas, who you could, usually can be kind of fun. Uh, no way we see it as like Will Chamberlain. They want to give us an out of possession one or something like that to play the point guard. It goes absolutely disgustingly um, insane. Uh, maybe, you know, Monte Ellis. I hope not. Um, it could be a Kyrie Irving just because they've been chucking Kyrie cards at us, but I don't really see it being too crazy and us giving them two reward cards uh, for free, but they've done weirder stuff. Not going to be Blake or really Larry Bird. Anything like that. I think, honestly, um, those other cards that I was talking about uh, have a better chance. No way they do it as Jared Allen or Evan Mobley or Obi Dobbin. 
and we've already kind of got some of those guys. Scotty Pippen would be an awesome card to see, but again, I doubt that they see it. After how uh, hyped up this Opal was, I don't think they're going to be giving us a free version of him anytime soon. Um, definitely not going to be any of these guys down here. I hope it's not Lowry. Um, hope it, I mean, I hope it is Joel, but I honestly highly doubt it. We've already got a free De'Aaron Fox. And it's not going to be any of the other super, super hyped up big names. Because a lot of these other cards in the Zero Graphic Rewards have been relatively... I guess lesser known people and I think some of these 98 opals that definitely don't have a chance um, there's also possibilities of like pink diamonds um, definitely some older pink diamonds that a lot of us would like obviously really enjoy seeing some upgrades to um, honestly I don't think anybody would be too excited about like a Mitch Richmond but it wouldn't be a horrible card to have same thing with like a Dale Ellis um, we've already got upgraded versions of Glenn Robinson I don't think we're going to see a Devin Booker or you know Rajon Rondo or anything like that uh, hopefully not in Kervin, and we've already got Chris Mullen, Amari. Um, nobody's really going to be too excited about. Um, there are some shouts, though, somewhere throughout here. Um, there's no way that it's a Tracy McGrady, <laughs> like, literally at all. I highly doubt um, we don't get it. The next Tracy McGrady isn't in packs, if we're being honest, just because of how hyped of a card he usually is. It's not going to be a Kobe or anything like that. Um, we've already kind of got an upgraded Manu recently, so I don't really know about that one. Definitely not Kawhi or Rudy or Brian Steve. Honestly, a lot of these pink diamonds have kind of already got some upgrades to them. There were a few that I saw when I was quickly scrolling through that could be a shout. Um, like some people were talking about Lamella Wall. Lamella, 6'6", 6'10", and what a way to finish it by giving us a great PG who has jump shot 81, probably on the very quick timing. Uh, quick at the very least, it's going to probably get quick or a shifty dribble style. You're going to have some great dribbling animations like this little bit behind the back I actually really like. Um, he's got the default swing, he's got some nice, he'll probably get some nice dunking animations, we've got some really good defense, and Lamel's a 6 at 6 PG. Do I think that it's likely? Probably not, but do I think that he's going to be absolutely amazing and a lot of people are going to really like having him as a card? Yes, and the last time we got this, uh, a new Lamelo card was January 21st, so he's definitely overdue uh, for a new card. If they want to give us kind of a disappointment, you know, Ben Gordon, Gordon Hayward are definitely options, DeAndre Ayton would be a great card to get, but because we just got... Two guys who can kind of play the center position. I don't really see this too likely. Um, John Havlicek would be a card that I actually be kind of interested in seeing because jump shot 17 on very quick, as we see with Caruso, it's actually pretty gross. Um, given the nice shooting guard position, he can actually be a really good card. Uh, do I think he's gonna be better than like a Lamelo or even a Pascal Siakam? No, but it would be fun. I would love to see a Wang Chi Chi, Lamar Odom, something like that. But I highly doubt that they give us something you know that crazy. Um, throughout this entire thing, um, you know, guys like Jamal Murray, else we could see maybe Bam out of bio, but I think that they may want to release some packs again. Paul Pierce is popping up here. I do think that Paul Pierce is a, a really likely option that people should accept, is a possibility. Um, I just hope that it doesn't happen. Um, now we're getting to start the February stuff, so we're getting a little bit closer. I mean, Hito Turkaloo would be gross, but again, Hito is just way too hyped of a name that they're not going to release him like when they don't have to, and then we're getting to some of the closer ones. That we've already kind of got them very recently, so I don't suspect that they'll be there. Um, diamonds, if there's any super old diamonds that we haven't uh, checked out, let's just, oh, I can just do that and jump to the front. Um, TJ Warren, probably not. Richie Guerin, I mean, maybe. Honestly, I think some of those other guys are just a little bit more likely. Again, DeMar DeRozan, I think, is a pretty, a pretty good shout of one, just because we haven't seen a super upgraded version of him, if we're being honest. Uh, I don't know, maybe they come out of nowhere, give us ML Carr, although I think most, actually no, most of them recently, I think have been, or the last one was a newer player, so maybe we get an older player. Um, who knows? ML Carr could be a great shout. He's a super fun card. He was great on, defen on defense, and we haven't seen one since September uh, for this ML Carr. That could actually be a pretty fun card to just get out there and have some fun with. Hopefully it's not a Rick Barry. Antoine Jameson and Lamar, again, would be fun, but I just don't really see it happening. Um, we see Isaiah Thomas because we just got the shorter version of shorter Isaiah Thomas. You know, the Celtics, I IT. I mean, I see the Pistons one to have some fun um, and just, I don't know, have something. Personally, uh, of all the ones that I've looked at here, I think my favorites are probably going to be that Pascal Siakam, like Danny Granger. And honestly, Lamelo Ball is one that I hope that it's going to be, but I highly doubt it. Uh, but I would still like to see some other cards like ML Carr and things like that down there below. Um, this was the way that I thought that I could look through and like see what cards have a possibility of getting you know shouted out. Uh, let me know what you guys personally think down in the comment section below. A lot of people are thinking that we might see like a Paul Pierce or something like that just because he's not the most hyped up of guys. But I mean, given what we've done, 2K started off really hot and then just kind of slowed down around these this uh, pink diamond opal section. But I think. If they're smart, they'll give us a really nice opal, and you can see people are really hoping for another like Lamelo or something like that, uh, which I would be uh, 
gassed myself. But I wouldn't be upset with seeing some guy like Pascal or Danny Granger or something like that. Just be a really good all-around card. Or it could just be something, somebody completely brand new who we've never even had in 2K. And we're all just guessing like crazy. So who knows? Uh, let me know what you guys personally think would be a nice card to see down in the comment section below. Uh, like the video you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.